the U.S. has always called on governments not to allow other nations to interfere or meddle with its politics and elections. But what happens when a foreign government interferes in American politics? Meet APAC, the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee, the lobbying group that pushes bills into the U.S. law all in favor of Israel and in a lot of cases, at the expense of the U.S. government and its citizens. APAC was established in 1951 to strengthen Israeli-American relations, working to influence American policymakers and the public opinion in support of Israel's interests. But the lobbying group does not only influence policymakers, unless influence means paying millions and millions of dollars to pass bills and legislation. Lobbying is about foresight. Since 1998, APAC has racked up over $60 million in lobbying expenditures. This huge amount of money primarily goes to fund campaigns for politicians with the aim of pushing the Israeli agenda in the American political scene. The lobbying group has been hit with several scandals, the most notable one being the infamous Steve Rosen and Keith Wiseman case in 2005, when the two former APAC employees were indicted under the Espionage Act for receiving classified information from the Pentagon and passing it to the Israeli government. However, the Rosen and Wiseman case was dropped in 2009 before going to trial because the court rulings had made the case unwinnable and because the trial would risk disclosing classified information. Typical. In 2018, APAC was criticized for promoting anti-BDS legislations that would suppress the right to freedom of speech. Although the legislation did not pass, over 30 states now have anti-BDS laws that would punish or discourage companies that refuse to do business with their Israeli occupation. The most recent interference would be the passage of the TikTok ban bill, after the app saw a huge spike of pro-Palestinian content following October 7. The bill was spearheaded by Mike Gallagher, who, to no one's surprise, received $44,000 in 2022 and $22,000 in 2024 from APAC. Additionally, Gallagher has retired as a politician and took a job at Palantir, an American company that develops AI for the Israeli occupation, further feeding its killing machine in Gaza. Gallagher is of course not the only politician who received money from APAC for the TikTok ban, as dozens of US senators who voted in favor of the ban have been paid by the lobbying group.